In this lecture, let us understand some agile methodologies. In the previous lectures, we have already covered some of the agile methodologies like extreme programming, scrum, ASD and DSDM. In this lecture, we will be seeing a few more agile methodologies. The first one is feature driven development or FDD. As the name implies, the main point to note here is feature. So this method is focusing on features of a software project. Feature driven development is a practical process model for object oriented software engineering. This can be applied to moderately sized and larger software projects. So all the agile approaches will adopt a particular philosophy. Similarly, FDD also adopts a philosophy that includes this emphasizes collaboration among people on a FDD team. That means this project will be carried out by a team and there should be a collaboration among the team members. It manages problem and project complexity using feature based decomposition followed by the integration of software increments. So this model is developing the software as increments and all uh, increments will be based on some features. Every increment will be implementing some feature according to the requirements of the user. Next one is communication of technical detail using verbal, graphical and text based means. So there should be a communication involved between the customer and the development team and it can be conducted in verbal, graphical or text based means. FTD emphasizes software quality assurance. So software quality assurance is given or ensured by promoting incremental development strategy. This method is mainly based on features and every feature will be following an incremental development strategy. The quality assurance can be also ensured with the help of design and code inspections and also the applications of some software quality assurance methods like collection of metrics and the use of some patterns that were derived from the previous experience in phases like analysis, design and construction. In the context of FDD, a feature means a client value function that can be implemented in two weeks or less. So to implement a particular feature, it takes a very less time. And one feature can be considered as a client value function. Here, the feature driven development provides some benefits to the software. They are because features are small blocks of deliverable functionality, users can describe them more easily, understand how they relate to one another, and it will be helping them to review better and analyze the ambiguity and errors during the development. Then features can be organized into a hierarchical business related grouping. That means there may be different features to be developed and some of these features will be having some common factors and the features belonging to same category will be grouped together into a feature set and it can be organized into a hierarchical, hierarchical business related grouping. Since a feature is the FDD deliverable software increment, the team develops operational features every two weeks. And as the features are very small, their design and code representations are easier to inspect effectively. Another benefit is 
project planning, scheduling and tracking are driven by the feature hierarchy rather than an arbitrarily adopted software engineering task set. Now let us see a template that can be used for defining a particular feature. It takes the form action, the result, then by, for, of, to an object. Here an object is a person, place or thing. And uh, here according to this template we can define some features uh, and let us see an example from an e-commerce application. So the e-commerce applications might be having different features and some of them features that can be listed here are add the product to shopping cart. So here you can analyze this with the template here that is here add is the action the word the is included here and the product product is the result here and shopping cart will be the object. So here this template is followed by this particular feature. Another feature is display the technical specifications of the product. Then store the shipping information for the customer. So these are different features that are associated with an e-commerce application. Now the features that are having the same features or same functions can be grouped together and called by a particular name that is known as feature set. So a feature set groups related features into business related categories and it can be defined as action, ing and object. So this will take the form for example making a product sale. So making a product sale is a feature set which includes the above features that we have mentioned here. That is all these features, all these three features can be included in a uh, single feature set because it is related to the sale of a product. Now FDD approach defines five collaborating framework activities and more precisely it uses the term processes instead of framework activities. So let us see what are the five activities or processes in FTD. So this is the diagram that represents the different uh, processes involved in FTD. First one is develop an overall model. So it is uh, the phase where we identify the problem and develop the entire model. And after that, uh, after performing an analysis, then the next phase is or the next process is build a features list. So all the features to be developed are listed here and uh, out of these features one can be taken and it can be planned for development. So the next process is planned by feature. After that you have to design by feature. So one of the feature will be uh, selected from this and uh, it will be designed and after that it will be built. So here this these two phases are taking place in different layers. So you can see different layers here and each of these layers represent the increments. So this method is based on features and all these features will be implemented as different increments. So all these increments can be grouped here like this. So every increment will be having a design of that feature and after that based on the design it will be built. So this is what is taking place in FDD approach. Now moving to the next method Lean Software Development or LSD. Lean Software Development has adapted the principles of lean manufacturing to the world of software engineering. So here some principles from lean manufacturing is adapted to software engineering. So the lean principles that got inspired by the LSD process are eliminate waste, build quality in, create knowledge, defer commitment, deliver fast, respect people and optimize the whole. So these principles can be adapted to the software process according to the need of the software product. Let us take one principle that is eliminate waste and 
apply to the context of an agile software project. Here, eliminate waste can be interpreted to mean in terms of agile development, adding no extraneous features or functions to the software. Assessing the cost and schedule impact of any newly requested requirement. It means that if a new requirement is added to the features to be developed, then uh, this should assess the cost and schedule impact. That means it should meet the economical feasibility of the customer and it should ensure that the additional requirement will be added within the time period that was already scheduled. Removing any superfluous process steps. Establishing mechanisms to improve the way team members find information and ensuring that testing finds as many errors as possible. Reducing the time required to request and get a decision that affects the software or the process that is applied to create it. And streamlining the manner in which information is transmitted to all stakeholders involved in the process. So these are the these are the points to be uh, interpreted while making use of the principle eliminate waste to the context of agile software. So in this session we have covered two different methodologies. That is uh, first one was FDD and the second one is lean software development. The other methodologies will be discussed in the next lecture. Thank you.